Hey guys, in this week's video, we're going to learn how to use one of these bad boys. You might be holding this in your hand right now and thinking, how on earth do I use it? Well, not to worry. This week's video, we're going to learn how to use a turbo inhaler. We're going to learn how to store it. We're going to learn how to clean it. We're going to learn loads and loads of pro tips. So, let's begin. Now, before you become a turbo inhaler pro, it's just super important to remind you, always read the information leaflet that comes with any medication. This is super important just to make sure that you're safe and suitable to use that medication. Also, if you have any questions about the medication, if any of this doesn't make sense at all, always remember, you can speak to your pharmacist, you can speak to your nurse, you can speak to your doctor, you can speak to any of your healthcare professionals for more advice. So please do not forget that. Now let's begin. Okay, so let's begin with the basics. What is a turbo inhaler? Well, a turbo inhaler is just a medication delivery system. It's prescribed by your healthcare professional for many different diseases, for example, COPD, asthma, and it's one of the types of inhalers that we use to get that medication to where we want it, the lungs. Now, the turbo inhaler is driven by inhalation. So this means it's not like your common inhalers that you may see on TV, that you click and they make that sound, and it goes and it's propelled outwards and you breathe it in. The turbo turbo inhaler, so it's driven in by your inhalation, so by that forced breath in, it actually delivers the medicine into your lung. So the medicine in a turbo inhaler is a dry powder and it's kept here. Right at the bottom there's a reservoir of medication and it's all kept in there. So unlike your MDI inhalers, your meter dose inhalers where you click, it doesn't have that propellant. So like I said, it's driven by your inhalation and it's really useful for patients who struggle with timing, for example, which you get with the meter dose inhalers, or they're struggling to click the button, which does happen for patients with arthritis, for example. Okay, so we're nearly done with the background. Promise we'll be going on to how we use the turbo inhaler in a second. But remember, you're going to become a turbo inhaler pro at the end of this video. So one last bit. This is your turbo inhaler. I'm going to give you a brief explanation of how it works. At the bottom, we have our turning grip thing. Here is the air inlet. I don't know if you can see that hole. Let's try and focus it into that hole. Hopefully you can see it. That is the air inlet. So it's super important when you're using it, you don't block that because if you do, you can't breathe in. Okay? So you've got your air inlet there. Over here, you've got your reservoir of drugs inside this. Unfortunately, I can't open it to show you it. And there's a scraper there, which when we twist it, it gets it into the place, into the chamber where it needs to go. And then there's an air tube that goes from here all the way up into the actual top where you breathe in. That is the basics of the turbo inhaler, but it's gonna be super important that you know this because at the end of this video, you are gonna become that turbo inhaler pro. You're gonna be teaching your healthcare professional about this turbo inhaler, so let's begin. Okay, so we've now got to the good bit. We're now going to learn how to use the turbo inhaler. Congratulations on getting this far. This part is gonna be so easy for you now because we now know all about the turbo inhaler. We now know how it works. We know about the mechanisms of how it works inside. So learning it is gonna be a piece of cake. But it will take a bit of trial and error. I'm not going to promise you it's going to be easy to begin with. But after a while, it's going to come to you. It's going to be really easy to understand. And you will become the Turbo Hailer Pro. Okay, so let's begin. Now, I want you to imagine you've just got a brand new Turbo Hailer from the chemist, okay? It's all in its packaging. It's brand new. It's nice and clean. It's looking lovely, okay? Now, this is a demonstration turbo inhaler, so it has no drugs in it. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the cap thing that goes on. So, we're going to imagine it as a cap, and I'm going to screw it off, and I'm going to take it off. Now we've got the turbo inhaler in my hand. The first time you use a turbo inhaler, on some turbo inhalers, you need to prime it, so you need to get it ready. This is why I say it's super important that you read the information leaflet to check for this section. So check on the information leaflet what it says to do for the first time you use the turbo inhaler. This one, for example, in my hand that I've got is a Symbicort one, and it needs to be primed before using it. And the way that you do that for the Symbicort is you turn it in one direction, whichever way it goes, and then you turn it back. You should hear this click, okay? And then you do it again. Okay, now this inhaler is primed and ready to use, okay? But some other um, turbo inhalers are different, so please read the information leaflet. Also, please do remember, whenever you're using a turbo inhaler, always hold it upright. Always hold it like this. Never hold it like that, okay? So with turbo inhalers, we always need to hold it like this, and I'm going to tell you exactly why in a bit. The other thing I want you to do before you take any dose, after you've taken off the cap, 
always have a quick look in the hole, in the mouthpiece, to make sure there's no dust, there's no foreign bodies, there's nothing in there, okay? Because we're about to inhale this. So it's super important there's nothing in there because we don't want to get anything dodgy going down into our lungs. Okay, so now let's learn how to use the turbo inhaler. So let's say for that previous thing that I just did where I primed the inhaler, let's say I had that dose and this is the second dose that I'm gonna take. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're not gonna do it twice. We're just gonna do it once to get that dose ready. So I'm gonna turn it one way and and hear that click. That means that the medication is now ready and it's in the actual chamber for you to breathe in. Remember, you now know about the mechanism of how this works, so you understand that part. And the reason why I say you should always hold your turbo inhaler upright is if this did actually have medicine in it, unfortunately it's a tester one, if it actually had the powdered medication in the chamber now, and if I was to hold it like this, you'd see all this powder just fall out. And that is a waste of dose, okay, but it's not. So let's say the powder is still there and I didn't do that. Next thing I'm going to do is hold it like so. I'm not going to cover that bottom air inlet which we spoke about and you know about. And I'm going to hold it like so. I'm going to take a deep breath. I'm going to take a breath in. Then I'm going to breathe out. And I'm going to wrap my lips around the mouthpiece and take a deep, forceful, not too forceful, but it is quite forceful breath in. Remember, there's no propellant with this. There's no gas propellant or anything like that. So your inhalation is going to take that drug in. The turbo inhaler does require quite a a fast paced deep breath in and I'm going to take in the breath for as long as I can and then afterwards I'm going to remove the mouthpiece from my mouth and I'm going to hold my breath for about 10 seconds or as long as I can really and then gently breathe out looking the other way. So let's do it, okay? So like so, very simple. I should have mentioned to you this actually has a little whistle in it which actually indicates that you're able to breathe in with the force required. So if you look at the kind of force that I'm, that I'm doing, it's not like a breath in, it's not like a normal... It's a lot stronger, I'd probably say it's more of a... That kind of breath in, okay? So if you watch, if I do it with a normal breath in, it won't make the whistling sound. But if I do it with a proper breath in, so breathe, breathe in, So that's the kind of inhalation sort of speed that we need to do to get the turbo inhaler dose right. If we don't do it with that kind of speed and that kind of force, you'll probably end up with a powder in your mouth, you're gonna get a horrible taste in your mouth, and it won't go to the right part. So if you are noticing you're getting all the powder in your mouth, and you're not able to breathe in with that much force, then you need to speak to your healthcare professional, okay? So that they can check how, how deeply you can breathe in. We have devices like this, for example, which we're then able to test if you're actually, you do have the capacity to actually take a turbo inhaler of breath in, because it does require quite a bit of force. So, I hope that helped. Now, once you're done with that dose, follow the instructions from your healthcare professional. If you need to do another dose, you now know what to do. And once you're all done, get the lid that we had over here, my imaginary lid, and twist it back on. Also, please remember that these turbo inhalers do have a counter as well. Always check the counter number as well to make sure that you've actually got doses left in it and you're not actually just breathing in nothing because that's super important to remember. Another thing to mention is as well, if you are using a steroid turbo inhaler, it is important to try and use it Let's say it's twice a day, for example, the dose. I always say to patients, try and use it before brushing your teeth. So if you're doing it twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening before going to bed. So in the morning, before you brush your teeth, and the evening, before you brush your teeth again. That way, it's gonna reduce your chances of getting oral thrush, which can be one of the side effects of using a steroid inhaler. And for the full information on all the side effects or on how to use your turbo inhaler, again, please read the information leaflet that comes with this medication. And also, it's a really good idea if you're struggling at all, if you're finding this difficult, to speak to your healthcare professional. Let them know how you're getting on. And also, ask them to watch you use your turbo inhaler. Or if you've got another inhaler, ask them to watch you use it. That's the best way to learn how to use the turbo inhaler or any other inhaler properly. Because if you're not using it properly, it's not gonna get to the right part of the lungs and it's not gonna give you that adequate control that we want for asthmatics and COPD. This is the most important thing that you need to remember. And speaking of other inhalers, I do have videos on how to use a metered dose inhaler, on how to use an aero chamber, which I will leave links to up here and in the description below. So if you're interested in them, if you have any of them inhalers and you want to become a pro at that as well, then click on the links and give it a watch. Now let's move on to cleaning and storage. In terms of cleaning your turbo inhaler, 
please, please, please do not get the Turbo Halo wet. Remember, it's got that powder in there. If you get this wet and the water or any sort of liquid goes on the powder, this inhaler is ruined, okay? So please do not use any water. In terms of cleaning, you just use a cloth two to three times a week. Just give that tip a quick little clean and then put that cap on. Always make sure inside the cap is clean as well so there's no dirt or no fluff or anything like that that you're gonna put in there and it could possibly go into the mouthpiece. Now in terms of storage, the Turbo Halo is very easy to store. You just need to keep it in a cool dry place once you've got that lid on cool dry place and make sure it's not over 30 degrees Celsius and always check the expiry date. The other thing about the turbo halos that I want to mention is when they run out, make sure that you hand it back to your chemist, whichever chemist that you got it from or any chemist you can hand it back to them. But please also do check if the chemists are part of the recycling scheme because these can be recycled and lots of other inhalers can be recycled as well. So I am going to leave a link to that in the description below and I would highly, highly recommend everyone to do this. It's super important that we're trying to recycle these inhalers, they're plastic, they don't degrade, and it's really good for the environment if we are able to recycle these. So that's the end of this week's video. I promised you at the start of the video, you are going to become a Turbo Halo Pro. Let me know if that is true. Leave a comment below, let me know how you found the video, let me know if you've got any questions, and let me know if you've got any of your own tips, because I love reading those comments, and I'm sure everyone else watching this video would love to read those comments too, get some tips from each other, and learn from each other. As always, sending you all awesome some vibes and I will see you next week. Hey guys, thanks for watching this week's video. Make sure to click that like, follow or subscribe button now to stay up to date with new weekly videos.